In the last video, we had a look at using some of the additional features in Melodyne, and we were able to create a MIDI double of this bass loop here, and also extract the tempo from a drum loop. But now we've been left with a slightly different problem. Let's have a quick listen to the track from the top here. Okay, so what we notice here is that the grooves aren't exactly in the pocket with each other. They're slightly conflicting. And this is pretty common whenever you're working with tracks where you're dragging in loops from multiple locations. So there's a couple different ways that we can handle this, but I wanna go over an incredibly simple and efficient way that we can solve this problem. Now, before we get going any further, I just wanna make a couple small adjustments here. I'm gonna color code these two tracks so that I know they belong together. And I'm also gonna change the color of the drum loop over here. All right. Now, next up, we don't really need Melodyne on either of these events, because we've already created a MIDI duplicate for this event, and we've already extracted the tempo information for this event. So with the event selected here, you'll notice that I have my event effects section here. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove Melodyne from the drums, and then we'll select this event, which is our bass loop, and we'll remove Melodyne from that as well. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my data zoom here, and let's bring it all the way down. Now, last up, just a couple more things. So let's just have a look at this event for a second. We can see that it has a specific icon. Now this is because this event has some sort of processing on it. In this particular case, this event is a 90 BPM event, as we can see by the file tempo here, which was given to us by Melodyne. Now because we've selected the option that allows us to work with multiple loops and multiple different tempos within one session, it's playing back just fine at 120 BPM. But what I wanna do here before we move forward is I'm just gonna consolidate a brand new file. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this and let's keep our eye on the tempo. I'm gonna go ahead and click Command B. So now you can see that the event effects have been disabled and the file tempo is set to 120. All right, now next thing, I'm just gonna bounce out this instrument track. Okay, so it's automatically muted the MIDI event. So I'm just gonna select this track here. Let's head over to our track list and let's just hide this because we don't need to see it. So now we're working with nice clean audio moving forward. Just gonna hide my track list here for a second. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to determine which groove we like the best. Now I happen to think that the bass groove has got a little bit more feeling than the drum groove, but I think the drums would sound really good if we can get them to match the bass groove a little bit better. So let's just head up to the top menu over here. I'm gonna click the Q to bring down the quantize menu bar. Now this really couldn't be simpler. If we head over to the left here, you'll notice that we have grid and groove. Let's go ahead and click the groove tab. So now you see that we have this little clipboard and what this will allow us to do is drag and drop events right into the groove clipboard. So let's keep our eye on this particular section over here. So right now this is blank, and you can see that this says one bar. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag this four bar bass loop right into the groove clipboard. So now you can see that a couple different things have happened here. First of all, it's automatically updated that it's a four bar section. Secondly, we now have the name of this audio event in the groove clipboard. And you can see if we move up here, we're still on a 16th note in terms of our quantizing options, but we're running off of the groove clipboard. So the next thing I need to do here, again, really simple, is I just need to select the event that I wanna to quantize to the groove clipboard. In this case, being our drums. Let's go ahead and click apply. Now essentially, we've just taken our drum performance and we've quantized it to our bass track. Let's go ahead and have a quick listen. Okay, much better. Now you'll notice here that we now have all these vertical lines over top of these transients. These are referred to as bend markers. And in the next video, we're gonna have a closer look at the interaction between bend markers, quantizing, and groove extraction.